His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met with British Prime Minister Theresa May to discuss bilateral relations and ways of further developing them. They also discussed a number of regional and international issues of interest to both sides. His Majesty expressed the pride of the Kingdom of Bahrain in the close historical relations bonding the two countries, dating back over 200 years and continuously developing. He reaffirmed the need for strengthening mutual cooperation, pushing further high-level joint ventures, and seizing all available opportunities to further bolster the existing strong relations to the benefit of both countries. His Majesty pointed out that further interaction included continued consultations and more frequent visits of experts and representatives of government and civil societies would broaden future prospects and contribute to the development and welfare of both countries. He went on to say that he was looking forward to enhancing economic cooperation between the UK and Bahrain, as well as the GCC countries in general, stressing that numerous promised economic opportunities for closer cooperation and coordination do exist. He commended the supportive stance of the UK in backing security and stability in Bahrain. He noted that it reflects a strong relationship between the two countries and indicates a firm desire to further boost ties. His Majesty then expressed appreciation for the important strategic role of the UK in contributing to regional and global security and stability. During the talks, His Majesty the King highlighted Bahrain's important strides in empowering women to assume their role as essential partners in economic and social development, particularly in the fields of education and private and government sectors. For her part, the British Prime Minister Minister welcomed His Majesty the King, reaffirming the depth of the relations linking the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, expressing encouragement for the reforms efforts being made. The Prime Minister thanked His Majesty the King for the invitation to visit Bahrain on the occasion of the celebration of the 200th anniversary of the Bahrain-UK relations and during the GCC summit in December. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at his residence in London delegations of the Bahrain All Party Parliamentary Group, the APPG, under the chairmanship of Connor Burns MP and Conservative Middle East Council, CMEC, under the chairmanship of Nazim Zahawi, and discussed relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom and highlighting the opportunities to develop a long standing friendship further. His Majesty the King welcomed the delegation, lauding their efforts towards enhancing the bilateral relations between the two friendly kingdoms and their people. Such efforts, His Majesty positively contributed towards further bonding between the two nations at various fields for the benefit of the two countries and their people. His Majesty made reference to the important accomplishments and gains the parliamentary march had made in the kingdom, affirming that Bahrain has succeeded in establishing an active parliamentary experience and a model for exercising democracy based on the law and constitution. His Majesty also voiced pride in the bonding and love among the people of Bahrain, affirming that the kingdom will continue the path towards more development for the interest of Bahrain and its people. People. During the meeting, a number of regional and international issues were also discussed where His Majesty highlighted the active role of the United Kingdom and its efforts in bringing security and stability in the region and worldwide. Chairman of Bahrain APPG, Connor Burns MP, noted that Bahrain has been Britain's ally for more than 200 years, adding that the ties that have developed since that led to Bahrain being one of Britain's most dependable friends in the Middle East. Chairman of the Bahrain APPG stated that Bahrain has evolved into the most liberal and progressive society in the Arab world noting that it has led the way on women's rights, freedom of worship, and creating a tolerant, diverse community. He expressed delight in meeting His Majesty the King, highlighting Bahraini-British strong historic relationships. At the conclusion of the meeting, His Majesty the King welcomed the new members of the parliamentary group and the announcement of its renaming to the all-party parliamentary group for Friends of Bahrain, which reflects a long-standing friendship and relationship between the two nations and their people, and also wished them success. For their part, the delegation expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for His Majesty's strive to further elevate relations and cooperation between the two kingdoms, which is in line with the directions of His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom and Northern Ireland. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa offered his condolences at Wajba Palace in Doha to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani on the demise of Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, the father. His Royal Highness the Premier also offered condolences to the sons of the deceased, asking the Almighty God to rest the deceased's soul in eternal peace. His Royal Highness highlighted the contributions of the deceased in serving his country and the Arab and Islamic nation. For their part, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad and Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani expressed their 
their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his noble feelings, which reflects the brotherly relations between the two countries and their people. They wish His Royal Highness the Premier abundant health and happiness. Earlier in the evening, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, arrived in Qatar to offer his condolences to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani on the demise of Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, the father. His Royal Highness the Premier was received at Doha Airport by the personal representative of the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and the Qatari Premier and Minister of Interior, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Thani, and a number of senior Qatari officials. His Royal Highness the Premier left Qatar later in the evening and was bid farewell at the airport by the personal representative of the Emir of Qatar. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was at the airport to receive His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on his return from the state of Qatar after offering condolences to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani on the demise of Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, the father. Also at the airport to receive His Royal Highness the Premier were a number of senior kingdom officials and Qatar's ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Premier has earlier left Thailand, destined to Qatar to offer his condolences. In Thailand, His Royal Highness the Premier participated in the second Asian summit representing His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also held a number of meetings in Thailand focusing on means of bolstering bilateral relations and cooperation between the two countries in political, economic and investment fields. Deputized by His Majesty the King, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa attended the annual celebration held by Bahrain alumni for the graduate from Arab and Foreign Universities, batches 1960 to 1990. A photo exhibition was also on display along the event. Attending the ceremony were the Chairman of the Shura Council, the Capital Governor and a number of ambassadors. Speeches were delivered during the ceremony thanking His Majesty the King for patronizing the event and also thanking Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for representing His Majesty the King. The event shed light on the educational march in Bahrain and its impact on social and cultural life in the kingdom. Later, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa toured the exhibition. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa received today the Chairman of the Royal University for Women, RUW, Board of Trustees, Fahad Abdullah Zamil, who presented to the Deputy Prime Minister the Chairman of West Virginia University, Board of Directors Thomas Flartree, and President Dr. Gordon D. The Deputy Prime Minister welcomed the WVU's delegation, praising the cooperation between the two universities on academic research and the exchange of expertise to avail from WVU's high quality education to boost Bahrain's efforts in developing higher education. For the first time in its history, WVU will provide its academic programs outside the United States to RUW starting 2017, which will cover engineering, energy and environmental courses under a strategic partnership between both universities.
The Ministry of Interior completed all preparations regarding the required arrangements for conducting the Gulf Cooperation Council GCC Joint Security Exercise, which is carried out for the first time according to the directives of the GCC leaders and interior ministers to enhance security cooperation. The GCC Joint Security Exercise will enhance joint capacity, especially for combating terrorism. The exercise reflects the high readiness of the security forces and the mutual desire of exchanging experiences in joint exercises. It is also considered a significant leap in the process of security cooperation between the GCC countries and unifying the concepts of security work. The exercise aims to enhance the readiness of security forces to upgrade field coordination and the effectiveness of the commanding procedures and communication between security operations centers regarding the immediate exchange of information as well as to implement security measures to respond to various security conditions. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, inaugurated a new exit from Zaytin to Sheikh Isa bin Salman Causeway as a part of the second phase of the paving of roads project in Block 226 and 228 in Zaytin. The Minister of Works stated that the exit aims to alleviate traffic congestion in the area and create an easy exit from Zaytin to Manama. He noted that the reconstruction works have developed significantly in order to cope with the traffic in the area, which has increased due to the rise of investment projects and shops. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, has inaugurated today the BBTC Middle East and Africa Conference organized by Euro Petroleum Consultants Limited and Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco in cooperation with the National Oil and Gas Authority. The conference was attended by a number of experts, engineers, and those interested in the aspects of the industry. The Minister of Oil noted that the organizing company's choice of appointing Bahrain to hold this global event enhances the statue of the kingdom as an important center in the region to hold specialized events as well as a positive role of the Bahraini government and the facilities it offers in strengthening the economic movement and conference tourism. He also explained that the decline in global crude prices at the end of 2015 posed a challenge in dealing with the oil industry with a more flexible strategy. The minister affirmed that the kingdom sought to increase the production capacity of the refinery and incorporate the latest technologies to enhance quality and competitiveness. Bahrain's Defense Force have carried out today the final stage of the joint naval drill on Causeway 17 with the participation of the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, RBNF, and the Eastern Fleet of the Royal Saudi Navy. The drill included the use of a number of combat vessels, patrol crafts, a flight wing of helicopters, and several militant groups. The aim of these exercises is to achieve the highest level of coordination, cooperation, and integration in the field of maritime, as well as the exchange of military expertise and other elements of common interest in order to execute a unified military action. This exercise exercise comes as part of the military causeway training maneuvers which are carried out periodically between the neighboring countries and categorized in the highest level of regard considering the magnitude of the participating combat forces advanced equipment. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the two-day biologics conference commenced its activities in the Kingdom of Bahrain on Wednesday. The conference brings together over 500 experts from the medical and pharmaceutical industry. More details in this report. Local and global medical and pharmaceutical professionals convened in Bahrain to kickstart the activities of the Biologics Conference. The gathering is meant to shed light on the latest milestones in the use of biologic agents in the treatment of disease. Uh, what the subject which is sub today for this course is biological uh, drugs is actually is very important and very new subject and I think that is something that we need to uh, you know, uh, discuss and see the best, how it best utilize it for our patients. The conference is the fruits of the organized collaboration between the Bahrain pharmacists and the Saudi pharmaceutical societies. It is the first gathering on the topic of this magnitude in the region. The Kingdom of Bahrain was the first country in the GCC to organize such international conference on this issue. It has been organized several talks. 
symposia, yeah, uh, different workshop, but as a conference where different people from different countries contribute to the success of this conference, this is the only, and this is why Bahrain, Kingdom of Bahrain is always, always a special country. The agenda features a number of regional and international speakers tackling different topics that range from biologics development, pharmacoeconomics, safety, and the efficient use in clinical practice. Today we've, we've selected a new topic just to like enhance the, our top participants' information about the, bi the biologics uh, medications. As the main object, as, as I said far earlier, it's uh, to, to give a brief introduction how the uh, the biologics started about the pharmacoeconomics. This conference is another testament to the kingdom's commitment to becoming a pioneer in the field of healthcare and medical treatment in the region. Mohamed Shaban, Bahrain Television News.